Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the permadeath run <coughs> in Diaries of Death. This is Patrick the Monk's story, a man who has been dragged into a conflict, a fierce battle of uh, two colliding forces, the Imperials and the Stormcloaks. His order has been wiped out by the Stormcloaks and so he found himself uh, in bed with the Imperials. In the meantime, since we uh, did the first dungeon, we needed to deliver an important message to the Jarl in Whiterun. I just did that. Unfortunately, he mentioned uh, that before he will think about any attack that could happen on Whiterun, he wants us to clear out Bleak Falls Barrow. And I fear we're still a little bit too weak in order to do that. So today is going to be the final leveling uh, experience will uh, get a couple more uh, bandit camps under our belt and then it's bleak for barrows uh, again it seems that this dungeon is an always continuing giving story in every run i had been uh, busy though behind the scenes and got us a couple of uh, things i started uh, with a mage guild in college of winterhold uh, it's strange that this character kind of is all over the place, a little bit Dark Brotherhood, a little bit uh, the Thief skill, a little bit main storyline, but also a little bit uh, the Mage skill. I suppose such is the way of joining the war. Um, and what we have gotten is a solid um, set of novice uh, ropes as well as the Tharthal amulet for cheaper casting. So. Essentially, when we're just going with his outfit at the moment, which would be his going trend, you can see that we are finally able to uh, cast Mage Armor 2. And the Magicka is regenerating reasonably fast. So that's great. What we can't do yet is um, put Transmute Muscles on ourselves. Uh, we're still not... Um, strong enough in the uh, in the force in order to do that but at least it's a starter and you can see 360 armor is okay so what we are going to do for today is we are um, joining forces to hunt down a couple of bandits here and there i think in and around white run is a great location uh, so we can certainly use uh, this area just to clean it out and uh, get as much experience as needed let's go Good. Before we start, Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry. We need to do a brawl. Oh, <laughs> we're hitting hard nowadays. All right, Michael. Hope that should teach you a lesson. That was uh, the one brawl, which never really started, but I think due to the progress of the main storyline, we uh, now go, uh, got enough going for us. And I'm wondering, after a couple of bandits, uh, if I might... Very good. Uh, if I might uh, want to use uh, support of a follower and then just do Bleak Fall Barrows, that should be another way of doing it. Cool. Okay. Uh, off we go. We need a few more leads. If it's work you need, I assume you saw... It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want the companions in your Vasku? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Need That's anything cool. else? Just let me know. Good. Time to go for the first bandit camps. Okay, time for the Silence Moon camp. Uh, with melee only. This is going to be interesting. Good, successfully snuck up uh, on the first guy. Then, however, almost moved into the second guy. Good, we're down with our stamina. We definitely need to have a break here.
The nice uh, thing about not wearing armor is your sneak is actually quite positively good, surprisingly good. So we're not in combat, might as well regain some uh, stamina whilst eating. So, we got Icy Shards and Summon Spirit Wolf. Uh, the latter will come in very handy. <clears throat> we got quite a few uh, scrolls, so let's use some of them. Summon Spirit Wolf is the obvious choice here. Okay, apparently that was not successful. Damn it, the spirit wolf did not attack Ron. Alright, Ron, come on. I fought worse than you, but unfortunately one hit might end us. Come on, run. There we go. That's the opening I was hoping for. Sure, have mercy on you. Why are the mud crabs fighting us and not wrong? Damn it. That was a close one and I heard an arrow click, so we gotta get further away. Okay, we can't just let him shoot, uh, shoot us like that. Ah, Ron has picked up his bow. Delicious. Uh, but I do have an uh, ace up my sleeve as well. Where is my flame atronach? I just summoned one. Where is it? They've angered the the giant and the mammoth, uh, both of which I don't want to fight. No, 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 no. I need to find stones somewhere because elsewise we're done for.
brown shakes. Yeah, I don't want to fight you guys. See you later. Damn it, I haven't even touched them and now I'm stuck with a mammoth and a giant. Well, great. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> okay, this is likely not going to go out well, but it is amusingly funny. Wait, I did have a couple of scrolls, didn't I? Yeah, but nothing that would really work with them. Okay, we're going to disengage. Apparently, said giant does not want us to disengage. Oh boy, I'm not even sure where Ron is. The last uh, thing that I saw is the mammoth and the uh, giant wanted to run into them. I killed one of uh, the archers down here, crossbow archer, and that was about it. Still seems that we are sort of in combat. Up here was uh, where I saw Ron the last time. But if the giant has hit him, there is no telling where exactly Ron has gotten to. For what it's worth, he could have just been flung over the wall. Well, I guess rest in peace. Do the rest up here because there are still a couple of skill books and a master chest <clears throat> and then we need to kill the quote-unquote leader of uh, this establishment That was a rope of restoration, that's not bad. And we got a lot of XP out of that chest in itself. Okay, time for us to get inside. Okay, before we do that, let's check something real quick. Our toxicity level. Um, seems to be fine because I'm not seeing it. Alright, I guess we can chuck that one here. Another bended right there. Unfortunately, he got us with the arrow. 
<clears throat> you gotta be careful here. <laughs> Good. Fast enough. And thanks to that extra brawl, I think... Uh, are we even having an improved uh, fist damage? No, we have maxed out fist damage. Like, that's as good as it gets. Because uh, we've already done all of the brawls. Additional brawls won't give us more. Cool. So, one of them down. Quite a few more to go. Ah, that's a real disadvantage. We can't bash open chests. Cool, that's a great one, but we're not blocking often. That's a hand-placed item that allows you <laughs> to block up to 250% of the damage. There's a chance to do that. Wow. Lots of adder blocks here. Almost got it. A bit disappointing for an adder block. Quite a few potions, I appreciate that. And we'll get one more chest for doing it. So the the runes themselves not really large, but overall quite quite a good um, quite a good source of potions and, and other consumables. We're going to do a few more bandit camps because uh, I feel that that is the best source of net in, uh, income for potions at the moment. Hence, let's just do that. And when I mean potions, I mean uh, inside potions, so experience. Okay, we'll open that. And that's the last chest I was talking about. Is it one of these chests that... It's an apprentice chest and it eats up a lot of locks. Okay, cool, finally. Unfortunately, no further experience, which is why I was here in the first place. Good, next camp. Good, next up, we're going to the Halted Stream Camp. I handed in the quests, got a new one and the Halted Stream Camp is the next one on our radar. Oh wow, he hit that shot. Wow. Well, 
I yield, I yield is not enough. Wrestle move to the ground. Good, we'll take that. And now that we're out of combat, let's eat that and that. Two more spirit wolves, which will be helpful. Gotta collect all of the scrolls that we can. There's still an inside. Uh, just checking. Did I forget a chest up here? No, I think we're fine. Off we go to the inside. Good, let's carefully move in. And surprise the first bandit. And if we can play our cards right, we might be able to kill him right away. Yep, okay, cool. That's the advantage of dealing a lot of damage. Buff up again. And now the real fun part begins. We gotta have a sharp axe. Look at here. I cannot best you. You won't get the best of me. You puny weakling. That's what I was looking for, the opening. All right, two down, only one more to go. Yeah, that mammoth is a good pillar, but unfortunately for us, really bad uh, to get stuck with it. Well, he's stuck, permanently stuck behind behind that. Let's hope a power attack will get him out of there. Oh, we don't want to mingle with him in melee combat, but we can tease him a little bit. Uh, no, I sold all non-summoning spells and non-undead spells. Can you get out there? Okay, he can actually. I'll skin you alive. Is this what you want? Just lost mage armor. <laughs> the finishing moves are fantastic. Poucher sacks. I think we'll come back and loot all of that in detail. I'm running out of space, unfortunately. This, however, is helpful. This is helpful. This is very helpful. And we got ourselves, yep, quite a bit of loot here. Those bandit camps are great for these uh, for starters, and if you learn how to deal with the bandits in a safe way, then it is a treat. 
an easy way of getting your character off the ground. That's valuable. Don't need anything here. We'll take that task because we can uh, hand in a quest with it. Okay, cool. Uh, back to handing in quests and then I think we'll do one more. Okay, before we go to the next uh, location, I figured we might need all of uh, the powers that we can get. So let's do some level up. We got one handed already going for us. I think we wanted to do smithing to 25 because we can uh, put a point in uh, in there, a perk in there and get specific weapons that will allow us to do enchantments which brings us to the next uh, skill that we might need. Putting enchanting out there. Almost at 25 as well. Still need to think about which of the skills we actually want to dabble in. For now, dexterity needs to go to 50. That should be one of the priorities. Evasion, 50 could be another, another alternative. But it's potentially not as high of a priority. And um, potentially the highest priority is actually alteration to get uh, the higher spell lines and more armor for now so as mentioned a little bit of magicka a little bit of health so in terms of alteration we could do a powered alteration we could definitely go for magic resistance which i think is almost a no-brainer and improved mage armor, which is also a no-brainer because that in itself will uh, will already give us more armor since we are unarmored and magic resistance. So working a little bit on our defenses because that's the clear lackluster stat that we currently do have. Four hundred fifty armor is good. Is really good. Nothing to scoff at. Uh, that is with the improved mage armor now, and we're looking at eleven um, ma magic resistance plus. If we were to take on our dwindling resistance, already thirty. That's good. I like what I'm seeing. Good. Off we go. Our next destination will be over here. Uh, we have a date with Elsie, the one-shotter queen. And if that is successful, we potentially would be level 8. Uh, plus, there is a huge advantage with that as well, because we will have all of uh, the bounties done in and around wide run. So and it's, I think it's a good time to go to Bleak Four Barrows. Uh, have enough hit points to not get one shot. The 450 armor is decent. That's a full light armor, so we can work with that. And we deal a lot of damage. So the build certainly has its downsides, but it is not as atrocious as I would have thought it would be. I forgot there is another bandit camp nearby. So might as well also do that first. Might as well also do that first. So let's buff us up. Healing Portress, yes, that and that and... Potion of Fortify Stamina should be good. I think we're ready to go. White Raven Rock, how could I forget that dungeon? was looking for you said it'd be up at the summit oh. 
So we don't have any ranged weapons. That's a bit the disadvantage of this build. Soaked so much attention out of them. That was fantastic. Flame Atronach, two more Wolf Scrolls, Fire Sparks. Uh, that is good. And, well, uh, we even had food. Beef Stew, thank you. Tomato soup, great. Okay, that was a much more dangerous encounter than it might have looked like. Recasting Mage Armor here. Oh no. Oh no. I need a place where these guys are at a disadvantage. What we can do is we can definitely use our wolf. In order to let them focus on, in, on it. And once we close the distance, they can't switch weapons fast enough. Patrick's damage is good, really good. I like what I'm seeing, but he is so fragile. And Mage Armor still doesn't last long enough. Okay, so almost at the top. Money, potion, lots of steel plate. If we were into that, that would be a good find. We're not. Good. Time for the grand finale. <laughs> we could bum rush her. Oh, very nice. That's a good one. That's not bad either. Yeah, we can take all of it. Alright, cool. So, the dungeon is done. We do have another one to go. See you at Elsie. Time to face Elsie the Spiker. And this might be the end of the run, so... I am... attempting to use whatever we do have available. Play Matronach Scroll. Let's 
kill as many of these guys as possible uh, for a start. Okay, time to run. Those two do have heavy armor, so they tire out much faster. Isolated one. Somehow can't really attack this guy. Wow, there was a huge delay. I Okay, never mind. Whatever it was, it was a pretty ugly delay. Now, there are plenty of others down there. Let's start trying to pull them one, uh, one at a time. Two at a time is also fine, just not like all 20. Need to wait for an opening here. Wow. Oh I don't know what it, uh, it is with these streets in particular. Luckily enough, we do have a fast attack animation Koma might might come in handy I think it is one of the textures I still haven't figured it out She had elven bowls. That could have hurt quite bad. Okay, time to heal up. We can deal with them in a second. I want to deal with the giant's camp, so can't move too far away. What I can do though is... Quick glo uh, gloves off. Oh, we wanted to sell them. I'll keep them. Okay, we're back to 450-ish armor. Luckily they are not very strong in melee combat, so the moment that I close the distance we're good. Potion of Invisibility, that might actually work, so let's see. Apparently, it does not work as well. Let's get that one set up and we need new healing potions. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. I can't do that. 
It's just too laggy. Need to go into the open. It's so it has something to do with the streets. Now you're attacking me as well. Oh, thank you. She could kill me, not enough uh, firepower, but I just couldn't overcome her blocking either. Regaining some more magicka. I changed the food here. Because I need to rebuff. Potion of invisibility unfortunately didn't work out as well as I thought it would. And so far we don't have the ability to regenerate magicka whilst we're running so that's why I'm standing like a uh, standing here like a sitting duck four of them okay We can close the distance efficiently. That was one hit. Pretty good one. Let's pull her back. I think we've gotten the majority here. Okay, that was helpful. Fortunately, Mage Armor is almost up again. I think we're now officially out of combat. Let's check that. Yes. The answer is we are. Health and stamina increase. And Elsie is still out there, so that's going to be the main opponent for us. Okay, apparently no one up here. So far so good. We can always loot that a little bit later. I 
All of the archers seem to be taken care of, but where is Elsie? Did she fall down? I think she's down there. she camping up in her tower? No way. Where is Elsie? The striker, the legendary one. I don't believe that we have done this camp without her. Tell you what, I will loot and look and next up it would be League for Varos. Here we are finally. League for Varos. Time to buff us just a tiny bit. And let's do this. By the way, I figured I could have used my ward the last time when we fought against Elsie and her goons. And another finish him. <laughs> Those are the best. Those are the best. Okay, I just realized... We gotta put this on a hotkey so that we're actually healing. We're out of combat. Okay, the bandits are the least of our problems. What is going to be inside is much more of a challenge. Alright, wish me luck. I just realized that we are already pa uh, crossing uh, the hour, so I'll do a cliffhanger here. And instead of just running it right now, we're going to do that the next time. Let's increase dexterity, level our character as much as we can towards the end of this episode. And we're going to do the rest the next time. Some more magicka. Some more health. Just so that we can cast the... Alteration spells. And also, uh, with base magicka comes a higher magicka regeneration. So, I wonder if this here would be worth it. I mean, I could see that for Mage Armor 1, so that we don't need to recast it as often. In terms of Dexterity, Brawling, we already got that. Boxing Focus 2 is not available yet. Uh, we can go deeper into Evasion, which is likely the right play. That is a great one. Yeah, so the right hand side would be fantastic. Power attacks with one hand weapons aren't actually that helpful because they take very long compared to just the immediate slap. So I'm not sure if we re really want to do that. The other option is smithing. 
in order to get our hand weapons uh, there are some custom custom f tweaks weapons that you can build specifically for unarmed characters they deal zero damage but they offer you a slot for an enchantment uh, but that would need to come together with enchanting enchanting on the other hand could definitely be helpful if we get our hands onto it so enchanters inside and then all the way elemental lore corpus lore skill lore and I don't think that we will go as far as that, but we could get some decent en uh, enchantments. I think that's almost a no regret move. We definitely would want to go into enchanting. I feel that the build itself doesn't have enough uh, defenses yet, so alteration going like way deeper into alteration would make sense just to get uh, mage armor uh, three then more magic uh, magic resistance with mage armor but equally i need to be able to cast them regularly and the one thing how we can ensure that is either finding the right um, cast the equipment or going into enchanting i tell you what i'll leave the perk unassigned uh, for now and we'll give it uh, thought I am not con uh, convinced one way or the other yet this here would be my prime choice and say if we could get to 50 boxing focus 2 definitely would be the right uh, play and then I will need to understand whether this year one hand weapons uh, because it's called light weaponry dagger swords axes maces doesn't specifically say unarmored This here should nonetheless flourish, should nonetheless work. But I'm not sure. I need to figure that out as well. Anyways, if you figured it out already, then leave a comment in uh, the uh, underneath the video. And if you are a big fan of lizards and Argonians in particular, then the like button is the place to uh, to um, announce that. Uh, that like uh, for the Aragonians. Take care and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.